After falling into a pit and waking up and finding a strange portal, I jump in and find myself stranded in this dry, dangerous desert. This is Minecraft Secrets of the Sands. It is now episode 9 and after conquering many pharaohs and pyramids, we have an arsenal of mythic items. But the question is still unanswered about how many pharaohs remain before we can leave this desert dimension. It is still unknown as to what will happen when I collect a mythic chest plate, but it's only a matter of time as I stumble upon another pyramid. I go inside and take out the spawners as usual, and I head down into the basement to awaken our 12th pharaoh. After taking out so many, it was hard to keep track, but after thinking about it for a little bit, we have successfully conquered 11 pharaohs. In one of the crates, I picked up a minor upgrade by getting an iron chest plate with fire protection 4 on it. You never know when it might come in handy. I also picked up another mythic item in one of the regular crates. Unfortunately, it was one that I already had and I wasn't planning on dying anytime soon. I got back to the sarcophagus and I awoke a purple and gold pharaoh. This pharaoh was still unique than the other ones, so I was still fighting new enemies. But just like the other ones, they stood absolutely no chance against my decked out armor and sword. In just a matter of seconds, we now had 12 pharaohs conquered under our belt. I finished off the pharaoh and headed back to the sarcophagus room to collect all of my loot. I was really hoping for some sort of armor, but I was welcomed with another surprise. I opened up the sarcophagus and I got Adam's protection, which was Adam's shield. Against undead enemies, this shield would light them on fire and deal damage. Along with the shield, of course I pick up a fifth mythic bow, as if I didn't need any more. The bow was just a souvenir, but the shield? The shield was something else. I was getting close to becoming Adam himself. I went back up to the surface to search for more pyramids, and I realized my hunger was getting very low. But thanks to the hunger stealing dagger, that problem was quickly solved. As I saw a pyramid in the distance, I found desert wolves. And since the beginning of the journey in the desert, this has always been one of my goals. Not being chased by them, but taming one. I should have known better than to throw out all of my bones because I was left searching around for them and being chased by them. But I was determined to get a pet wolf. Since I kind of abandoned my other one, I feel like I owe it to this one to actually be a good owner this time. I picked up one bone in a crate and I found another crate that gave me three other bones. Hopefully, four bones would be enough to tame this desert wolf. I brought him back, and to my surprise, four was the exact number I needed to tame this wolf. We now had a pet dog, but this time, I had the saddle and I was ready. And I was quickly rewarded when I figured out how fast the desert wolf goes. This thing actually moves so fast. But it gets even better when I figure out my dog is a literal attack dog. I can just run into enemies and my dog will do all the damage for me. Before exploring the new pyramid, I let my wolf have a little fun with these bandits. And by a little fun, I mean absolutely destroying them. It's been two minutes, but I already had a special connection with them. I took over my dog and parked him in this house and I went to explore this new pyramid. The only thing I was missing now was a name tag to name my dog, and I was gonna find just that. But the main mission was to take out the pharaoh and hopefully acquire a mythic chest plate. Not that I needed the help, but I ate a golden date anyways, and prepared for our 13th pharaoh. I even had Adam's shield to protect me this time. There was no way I was losing this. I placed down the torches, and this time I awoke a black, white, and gold pharaoh. This pharaoh didn't seem too powerful except I got hit with blindness every time. Luckily for me, my Adam's vision helmet completely tore through the blindness and it didn't affect me whatsoever. This pharaoh was completely defenseless and I took it down very easily. I now had conquered 13 pharaohs. I took out the remaining zombies and went back to the sarcophagus room, but little did I know, things were about to get crazy. I opened up the sarcophagus and I found three mythic items two of them being the remaining pieces of Adam's armor. The weapon I picked up called Anubis's Wrath apparently absorbs the souls of my enemies, another item to the collection. But now on to the main things. I put on the feet of Adam and apparently they make me not take any knockback. I grab the remaining piece of Adam's armor and I put it on. But something was happening. My vision went all white and I felt this energy surging through me. I was now Adam himself. I now had some sort of strength, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I went outside the pyramid and I noticed the fog in this dimension lifted. 
I could now see extremely far. I couldn't quite tell, but it almost seems as if the evil from this dimension had gone away. I went back to check on my dog, and I found that he was gone, but I found him right outside. So I decided I needed to do a necessary step, and that was give him a name. I settled on the name Dog. I couldn't quite explain my reasoning, but it seemed like Dog was the most appropriate name. I placed the name tag on him, and I went to go exploring, but that's when something caught my attention. A giant blue beacon over from the mountains rose into the sky. This was something that I have never encountered before. It was clear that Dog wanted to check it out, so I picked up my anvil, and Dog and I went on our way to explore. But right before that, a little scuffle happened, and I thought Dog's life was gonna be lost. But I took down the bandit, and Dog and I went over to the mountains. I could feel myself being drawn towards some sort of energy. Dog and I arrived at the top of the mountain, and I found the source of the beacon. I knew something big was about to happen, so I jumped off Dog, and I couldn't make him sit, so I just told him to stay right there. When I walked up towards the beacon, I saw there was a hole in the bottom and it led to some sort of cave. I could hear some sort of ominous sound coming from below. I crept on down block by block, but when I turned the corner, I found something unexpected. I found the portal that led back home. After defeating the 13th Pharaoh, this portal must have spawned way up in the mountains. And now that I had the strength of the Adam, I could now locate the portal. I knew it was time to go home, and I knew Dog couldn't come with me. So I went back up to say a proper goodbye. I fed Dog some camel meat, and I tossed him some gold coins, just in case he needed to buy anything. I thanked Dog for being a loyal attack wolf, and we said our goodbyes. I went back to the portal, and I knew it was time to go home. I tend to have a rough history with jumping in portals, but I knew this was the end of my journey in the Atom Dimension. I turned around to face the portal, and I trusted myself that I would make it out alive. 